On most occasions with respect to content production, I aspire to shy away from redundancies, but I'm going to default in repetition on a common adage I've offered. I would imagine in every respect I've credited Visions of Atlantis on this channel because I think the attribution fits to the respect of anybody, any longtime fans of theirs, or maybe newcomer fans as well, who have made their name alongside many other names in the European uh, rock and metal sphere, and not to dismiss anybody, of course, to be inclusive here, because there's so many that are provided to me. Just in respect to everybody who's made them a frequent recommendation and nomination in my comment sections for a later showcase, and I mean this sincerely, thank you to each and every one of you. I have been following this group now for just a little under a month. In fact, it didn't even take me a day to become a fan. Just a couple hours, in fact, when we had our initial journey together through 15 pieces of theirs. And it was such a fabulous introduction, as generally anything of the European metal and rock variety is. I can't acknowledge that enough. Just, again, to the credit of anybody who's not yet ventured down that path. It is such an advantageous space, take it from me. I have loved every minute of the ride. And with Visions of Atlantis, again, VOA was given such presence in my comment section over and over and over. And I'm like, I need to fast track this. And I'm so glad I did. Just even again, in only 15 tracks, I have fallen deeply in love. And for anybody who's not yet approached their graces, I can't wait for you to have a journey that I did about 15 videos ago. I have not forgotten about the experience at all. Symphonic metal, melodic metal, power metal, that's kind of where they reside, at least from attributions. They're Austrian-based, and they have been a delight to humor. Whether it be on the musical execution, which is just so fabulously brilliant, the vocal presence on behalf of both Clementine and where we began, uh, Siegfried, but now uh, Mikkel, the duality and the trade-off roles, I absolutely love that. And the concept, just beautiful. The, especially with this latest album, Pirates. I liked the first two, but Deep in the Dark was great, at least again from the selection of the tracks we humored. I'm going to go back for myself and listen to each uh, collection in full. Uh, and Wanderers, the same. We humored six from there. Pirates, though, my favorite of the lineup for sure. Concept-wise, it is just beautiful. And the tr five tracks we've heard, that being, or those being Pirates Will Return, Melancholy Angel, Master of the Hurricane, Clocks, and Legions of the Seas in that order, all have been repeat listens. For numbers three and five, especially. The, uh, Master of the Hurricane is growing on me a lot. Legion of the Seas is still my favorite, like the top listen for me, but uh, Master of the Hurricane is like pretty damn good. <laughs> But if you've not witnessed Visions of Atlantis before, again, I'm a relative newbie to their fan base, and I'm so happy to be a member. Again, I look for strong talents in the music world of so many times. It is a first love in my life, and music coverage on this channel is a passion project that's been a long-standing um, ambition, and to make good on it with such beautiful talents, I love. Sh I, I feel quite honored to be spotlighting again every artist that I do. But Visions of Atlantis, my word! If you have not taken the experience yet, I would recommend at least go back to the origin on Pirates. Humor what we've heard before, and then return for freedom. That's where we're relaunching it back into this experience. But ever since introducing them to the channel and taking that dive with you, because again, as I've always said, I feel music is better enjoyed in mutual company. And Visions of Atlantis, when we had that experience together, just absolutely fantastic. I've not forgotten any minute of it. So to return to it, for pirates, I am ecstatic about. I've been waiting for this opportunity for the last couple of weeks, and here we go. And of course, I recognize many artists here, so I've got this ever-growing list, it seems, but VOA is mandated. And to return back to pirates, I am so happy. So let's relaunch with freedom. Seven more works we get to humor together. I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Let's relaunch with track number six, coming in between Clocks and Legion of the Seas. I'm curious to investigate the flow between pieces here, because so far, when you consider the past works of theirs, uh, from what I've consulted, The Deep and the Dark and Wanderers, maybe earlier albums I've not been introduced to yet will also speak to this, but there is a versatility and execution. And this is particularly normal within the symphonic metal sphere that you will see wide employ of different elements. I prefer the orchestral side, which is why it's an immediate draw for me, though power and melodic, I'm also predisposed to loving immediately being a metalhead in many years. So I'm curious to see again the application of freedom here and where we're going in terms of the album and story in terms of the pirate concept, which I think is just manifesting beautifully, not only on narrative and video structure, the visualizers have been great, but on tone, the music just beautifully embodies that spirit. 
I'm so happy about our turn division of Atlanta, and I welcome anybody who's approaching, right? Longtime fan, of course I welcome all of you, but any fresh listeners of theirs that you've not heard the name Visions of Atlantis yet, that you've not heard them, maybe you've heard them in passing, maybe you've just not looked deeper, let this be your first footing, perhaps. Or again, go back to the beginning of Pirates is what I would recommend at the very least, and then come back. Or maybe you can start here if you wish. You know, that's up to subjective preference for sure, but if this is your first entrance, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm excited. We get to take this journey together. I'm looking forward to it. It's always a treat with any artist, really, especially the European variety. Oh, I'm in love. Visions of Atlantis. I am looking forward to our fun return. I have been waiting for this, and I'm so happy about it. All right, here we go. Kind of troubled on the on the strings. Is this the harp? I think it is. It's so light. Oh, I like the mood of it though. It's Deep in the night, when no one's away. Dim in the lights, I hide my escape. It initiates beautifully. My vessel awaits. I will tell no common man's tale. That triple rhythm, I just love it. Smooth. Just whimsical. This is the smoothest as far in the record. It's really soft. It's touching. <laughs> Just in case you're not aware of the pirate direction yet, ahoy! <laughs> <Breaking> <laughs> the and the this strict indicator. The storytelling befits the intended concept of the album well. The song, I feel, has a bit of a broader feel, but I like it. It's a good palette. It's just so smooth, though. It just carries you. Sort of like a ship at sea. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were going for, I don't know. I think there's a soft inquire on the origin. That was a good touch, if so. It's good. It's a good number for a pause, too. It's interesting in its placement. Because the, uh, the bookend tracks are harsher. So this is such a different feel. Interesting. It works. It's different. It's a song. It song. It's a song that has its own mind. Interesting choices with that. Uh, in, in placement that that deviates your attention substantially because again it's. It's coupled by endings of not only is this song coming from 
uh, one of the softer rock numbers, but it's immediately leading into one of the hardest on the album so far, being uh, uh, Legion of the Seas. Still, my I love that song so much. So this is a ballad pause, very much so done in the spirit of other past numbers. And as I said, Visions of Atlantis has a bit of a versatility in execution, right? We've explored this together, namely off of, I would say, well, both albums, yes, I'd say they're both good windows to this. More so Wanderers. Wanderers is a little softer on delivery that kind of fits again in that vein where this sounds completely reminiscent of that on sound. I think on narrative, if you want to talk about the pirate concept, the song connects on a beautifully, again, emotional mood. Like you really sink into the piece when you hear it. It's got a good flow, steady rhythm, beautiful origin too on the strings. Again, Dominant symphonic cues and Visions of Atlantis employs them so well. But the narrative, that that kind of manifesting in the direction of, well, we're supposed to have this pirate vision and manifesting, that's where you really see it. With good line writing, but the love of the men whose heart is as wild as the storm. What a beautiful line. It, it's such originalist expression, but it just feels um sophisticated and complex, but delivered again so well. The strings present so dominant. And the three-step pattern, I love that. Just real natural, like, waltz vibe to it. You almost feel like you're dancing as you listen to a number. You sort of imagine that type of image. Uh, even if, again, it's supposed to be you're at sea, so maybe there's not room on the boat for that to take place. You kind of see that vision in your mind. You, you can kind of conjure up any image again. The music is subjective in the way that we approach it. And for me, there's just sort of something that I see in the background is you know kind of like a a, a waltz-esque application but done with such prowess and again the vocal trade the duality role between clementine and uh Mikael, just so natural harmonious of one another it's such a good fit <sighs> I love symphonic metal for this reason. Again, anything orchestral and atmospheric. And symphonic metal specifically, again, I'm open to other types. And Vision of Atlantis does play around, as I say, with also power metal and melodic metal intersections of what's always been indicating with some other roots of expression as well, depending on, again, song and band choice. Symphonic metal, though, just has such a wide dimension to it. And I do feel that, you know, when you look at the metal scene today, and everybody, I'm sure, any metalhead knows this presumption that people give you, where it's like, oh, I'm a metalhead, and you feel like you're automatically in a niche space. I know that better than most. <laughs> I have no, I've said this many times, I have no intersection personally in my day-to-day -day life, day -to -day life with people of mutual music taste. It just doesn't happen. No cohesion. With all of you, it does. And it's been great to have at least some audience of <laughs> other metal enthusiasts from like, hey, I'm not as much an anomaly as I feel. Symphonic metal, though, I do feel, there's that presumption that, oh, well, metal is harsh, right? It's too aggressive. I'm thinking people who are, you would be like the, the naysayers. And I'm trying to be kind about it because, you know, I, in my opinion, anybody can approach any of the music I can soldiers again on the basis of wanting to humor good art. I'm just saying in terms of preconceived notions going in, there's that root of this is what metal sounds like, and then you listen to symphonic metal, and it just expands your vision, right? I remember, you know, back to maybe origin groups that I heard just in my early days of European consultations, there wasn't many, you know, artists, but it was a couple. There was that broadening of this is just so adventurous in spirit. It's different from what you would attribute normally as metal or what you would what most people I think would commonly think. There's just such a nice touch to this that carries this independent vision and, and prowess that just immediately sinks in. I hear a song like, again, Freedom, and it might depart from the tone of the album in general, but it just manifests, again, that beautiful variety, er, varied uh, application to what you find in the symphonic vein. Because we think of an orchestral experience, and it usually tends to be seen, I think, as more so, you know, like you're going to the classic opera or ball or something, it's going to be portrayed as soft. But when you intersect it with metal, it just becomes so creative. So you get this... This one kind of floats more, I think, in the orchestral direction. It's less metal. I think this definitely dips more in, like, again, as I said, a, 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 a orchestral side. I like that play around, though. Again, Visions of Atlantis, as far as I'm concerned, can take the tracks wherever they want, and it's great. <laughs> I mean, I've only humored 16 works in total now, but I'd say from my experiences, I mean, there's just a definite ex expertise in application. I would imagine many of you would express the same. I know many of you who are fans of this group would say as much, and I don't like to speak for anybody, but, you know... <laughs> We just kind of have a bit of a you know cohesive opinion on certain things. Or visions of Atlantis, I am just as elated as you. Now, again, I'm a little younger in my days of fellowship with them, but I feel honored to be amongst you. <laughs> and I'd say our, our level of adoration is certainly 
I would think it equal. I've just, again, fallen in mad love with this group. And I would imagine any of you, if this is the first entrance, you would express the same. I'd love to hear about it down below, what your thoughts are on Freedom. A departure from the album, to be sure. Again, so far we've had mainstay rock uh, roots. It's not a bad fit, though. I like this pause, and again, it demonstrates the wide field of application that Visions of Atlantis employs, and it's beautiful any way you enjoy it. I can't wait to hear her more. Our next track from, carrying on from this is uh, Wild Elysium, track number seven. So that's coming off of Legion of the Seas. Okay, so we are back in chronological order post-Freedom. This was the only break track we had, but I'm sure it'll be a fun journey. Again, as promised, we're going to go down the entirety of uh, Pirates together. Just, for me, the first experience, and listening to this album again in full, it necessitates that discovery, and we're going to humor it together. I can't wait for the opportunity. Not just for my own personal enjoyment, but for those of you who have not yet humored Visions of Atlantis, I'm sure it's going to be a fun ride, and I cannot wait for you to take this journey with me. I'm sure it's just going to be an absolute delight. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.